they are musicians that I've looked up to since I was a very, you know, young musician. Just to kind of see them there in the flesh and 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 play, you know, there's definitely some nervous energy about it, but I feel like I know what kind of bass playing and what kind of music they like to play and and I feel like uh I feel like I can deliver, you know. He asked me you know, do you want to do a record date with uh, some really fantastic musicians? And I said, like, like who kind of fantastic musicians? And then he started naming off some of the players that he had thought would be nice to sort of bring out for this project. And in that list included Eric Reed and Carl Allen. So out of all those people, I was like, man, those guys are, you know, some of the most you know, uh, important musicians of our time. And also, not to mention, they have a very close connection to my biggest influence on the bass, which is Christian McBride. So I knew that it would be the most musically fitting as well, you know. The reason I wanted to pick up the bass was to play bass lines like Ray Brown did. Basically, always playing with other musicians in jam sessions and stuff when I was in school. And we would always just be hanging out and taking breaks and somebody would pick up this instrument and that instrument and you know it sort of started out you know like that. I've always sort of believed that if you know exactly what you want to do on your instrument you can sort of weed out some of the things that you feel like you'll never use in like real life musical situations. So I've always boiled it down to what do I need to know to make the music that I want to make and that's it you know. It's not like you must know how to play four octave double hand scales on the piano. So I like to always practice and get better at stuff that I know I'm going to be using all the time. So I guess I pick up an, this instrument here one day and maybe this instrument there the other day. But what I'm really focused on is learning how the whole music, the, the entirety of the music comes together what bass, what great bass player should do, what great piano player should do, all these kind of things, and just try to sort of put that into practice as much as possible. There definitely is going to be a few originals. Uh, there is, it's going to be a lot of compositions by sort of more uh, composers of the recent years. I think they should come to the show to see a couple of modern jazz masters really show you what this music is, is all about, you know?